Gianna Gaudet with more answers to your questions about tarot. Today's question comes from Karen. She wants to know about the Two of Wands. She's having a hard time understanding how to interpret the card or what it might mean. I think that it's best to look at the Two of Wands in the context of its suit. And first of all, when we think about the suit of wands, in most tarot traditions, the suit of wands is related to the element of fire. So when we think about fire, what do we think about? We think about everything that burns within us, our passions, our creativity, our spirituality, our projects. Wands and swords are similar, air, fire, similar, in that in both cases, there's a sense of an idea. When you look at the Ace of Swords, you think, oh, I have a great idea. When you look at the Ace of Wands, that can also be, oh, I have a great idea. But it's more than just an intellectual thing, like it is with the Ace of Swords. With the Ace of Wands, it's that burst of energy. It's the spark of inspiration. So Karen's question was about the two. And of course, in numerology, two can be about balance, two can be about partnership, two can be about choices and decisions. So if we put that fire energy together with the two energy, we have a very good idea about the two of wands. Now, when we look at the image of the two of wands, we see that the person is standing on the balcony looking out over the whole horizon, the whole world. And yet what he's really looking at is this globe in his hand. He has a wonderful idea. He is plotting and planning about what in the world he is going to do. The world is in his hands. He needs to think. He needs to dream. He needs to make plans. He needs to make decisions about what he's going to do next. So when we look at it in its suit, here's what it looks like. Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh, I have the best inspiration. There is something that I want to do. Two of Wands. Hmm. Let me think about how I'm going to do this. Let me make my plans. Let me dream about this a little bit. Let me cogitate on this. Three, those plans and dreams are brought to fruition and we have success. Now, let's talk about the practical ways that this card actually comes up in a reading. It may come up to talk about a period of time when you need to make your plans and make your decisions. It's not a card of doing. It's a card of getting ready to do. Sometimes we live too much in the world of dreaming and not enough in the world of doing. It's very important that we don't get stuck here without moving on to actually bringing it to fruition. So when we say, well, gee, is this a positive card? Is this a negative card? I never like to think of cards as particularly positive or negative. They all just kind of are. But I would say this is a very neutral card that describes a process that must be done, but you don't want to get stuck in it. You don't want to forget to do it. So this card could come up to say that you have forgotten to dream. This card could come up to say that you're dreaming too much. The reversal could also talk about forgetting to dream, forgetting to make your plans, forgetting to go through that process. The reversal could also talk about the disappointment that we feel when things don't turn out the way we planned. That we have a vision for the future and now that vision is null and void. So dreams, plans, goals, the process of figuring out what you're going to do next, that's how I see the Two of Wands.
Karen, I want to thank you for your question. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have a question about tarot, please email me.